time. We should talk grail watches that are kind of dogs, you know? Yeah. Like grail dogs that aren't, you know, we're, we're not talking about rose gold 5711s and shit like right. that. Right. Not hot watches, but yeah. dogs. Yeah, dogs. But I, I want, I really, really want a... Let's see, why well, I gotta fucking, where is it? I can't even, you, you can't find this shit. I can't find shit on this fucking website. It's a fucking Omega. I know. This is like classic them that they just do this and make it incredibly difficult to navigate shit. Bunch of dickheads. You have to like go find the watch and then go to catalog, but like there's no button that says see all. Yeah. I'm gonna freak out. Where is it? <laughs> I found it. The Seamaster 233.60.41.21.01.001 Sedna TM Gold on Sedna TM Gold bracelet listed for $34,800. The Seamaster Master Coaxial Master Chronometer 41 millimeter Seamaster. Again. That's the fucking title? Are you shitting me with that? Should I say that all one more time? What's wrong with them? The Omega reference 233.60.41.21.01.001. Sedna trademark. Gold on Sedna trademark. Gold listed for $34,800. Zero cents. Seamaster 300. Master coaxial. Master chronometer. 41 millimeter. Seamaster by Omega. It's like that Fuck Mark... all of that. It's that, like... It's like that meme that's, like, Mark Jacobs by Mark Jacobs, inspired by Mark works <laughs> with Mark on Project Mark made in Markifornia. Mark... I'm like, you know... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like... <laughs> fucking... That's our clickbait, was that little segment I just did. Yeah. Then, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is the rose gold. Uh, no, I should say Sedna trademark. So Sedna gold, but it's Omega's rose gold, um, which is very nice gold, by the way. It I is beautiful. Love their Sedna gold. It's, I think it's stunning. Uh, it is. Their rose gold mixture is actually very, very similar to AP's. It's quite different from. Uh, there's like a lot of salmon pink in it. Yeah. Um, it's their rose gold Seamaster with the ceramic bezel. <sighs> now the watch depreciates violently on the market by like almost ten k. Yes, it's hilarious. It is, um, but we're talking Grail dogs. I love that watch. Yeah, that's a super cool watch for no reason other than the fact that it is just it is just cool. It's so over polished and it is so yeah. awesome. Like, it's amazing. It's so reflective. Seeing one of those things in person is, oh, stunning. It's ridiculous. It's Stun amazing. Stunning watch. Unbelievable yeah. how pretty that watch is. It's prettier than most watches in the room, even in, you know, if you're standing in the wind playing craps, you're going to have the prettiest watch down there. It's just a gorgeous piece. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the design, I think the dial negative space works and... The uh, 12369 layout is great. I love the loom. It's kind of got that fake patina thing going on. The hands are rose gold with the same loom on the inside. I just think it's a perfect watch. I totally yeah. won't ever realistically buy, buy one, but if I ever came across my quarter life crisis <laughs> sometime soon, I'm sure I could be convinced. So that is certainly. Yeah, it looks good on a lot of straps, too. Yeah, my Grail would be, uh, the Grail dog would be a gold, solid gold Cartier Santos. Santos Dumont. See, that's just exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. Solid it's gold. like, that's such a cool watch, but my God, I would never buy it. Unless I had infinite money. Yeah. I could not buy that watch. Yeah, that's if, fucking ridiculous. If money were no object, we'd have a lot cooler watch collections. <laughs> yeah. Because we would buy shit for, like, what... We'd get, like, the Jacob & Co., like, fucking... <laughs> yeah. Whatever that thing is that looks like the city of Atlantis or, like, the guy, yeah. the guy like, fucking some goddess on the... Oh, that watch is so cool. <laughs> yeah, the fucking 
coitus on the case back? Yeah, yeah, the coitus <laughs> on the case back. Yeah, the, the master coitometer, dude. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Superl- uh, superlative coitus case back. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it would be called, I'm sure. <laughs> So that's a, there's another clickbait title, Superlative Coitus Case Back. Yeah. Uh, coitus on the case back, baby. <laughs> that's a fucking funny. Holy shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, someone sponsor us, please. Um, yes, please. Well, that's so funny that Neil deGrasse Tyson wearing those. Also, not... Not that I don't already love Neil deGrasse Tyson, but my respect for Neil deGrasse Tyson is just way up here. When he's wearing oh, yeah. a starry, starry night vest over his tie. What is sure it? is. So he's wearing a Van Gogh-themed vest. It looks like a print. Plus a no-shits-given Omega. That is his favorite piece of artwork, according to an interview he did with Joe Rogan. I, I recently saw some Van Goghs in person at the, uh, yeah, yeah, at the Getty Museum here. Which, Beautiful. You want to talk about crazy money? Getty, mm-hmm. J. Paul Getty was at one point the richest human on earth. Yeah, and uh, he developed the Getty Museum. It cost him one point three billion dollars in nineteen ninety three, which is one point eight billion dollars today. Yep. Um, and that, that's one of the coolest places that, that, if you really want to feel poor, you go to the Getty because the fucking (laughs) structure itself cost him $1.3 billion in the nineties. Yeah. And that's just the structure. Then you actually look at the fucking art inside. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. (laughs) Like a billion dollar. The, the billion dollar campus is like nothing. And then yeah, you actually see to the, the art. art inside the fuck. Oh, shit. I mean, that. <laughs> there's no quicker way to feel just completely inadequate in life. Than, Seriously. Let's, let's see what watch J. Paul Getty wears. Um, he's not alive anymore. Well, yeah, I mean, he's dead. He's so dead. But like. He's been dead for like 50 years. Yeah, he's been super dead. Very, very About dead. About 40 years, but still. I mean, damn, he... <laughs> yeah, he's very much so dead. Super, super dead. <laughs> he is buried at his own compound, the Getty Villa, in Pacific Palisades. Oh, he didn't look too good in his final hours. No, he did not. Kind of... Yeah, you know, he looks like a croissant. Um, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, annoying that in this day and age when we, uh, okay. Okay, so the Getty Museum apparently has a watch section, I guess. Really? I don't know if that's true. That's what I'm seeing, but I, I could be totally wrong. I'm, oh, no, Getty Museum store sells watches. No shit. They sell pocket watches and color wheel watches. That's super cool. And Ptolemaic watch, Ptolemaic dial. Redwood patterned suede. Oh, that's fun. Some of these are fun. Yeah. Like $70. Yeah, that's super cool. I'm trying to see if I can find a a photo of him wearing a watch. Because I would love... I mean, the guy was the richest man in the world. There's no way he didn't. Or or he just didn't because it didn't matter. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything of any watches. (laughs) Excuse me. No, I can't find anything either. I, I, plenty of photos of his wrists. I don't see anything, so. Yeah. Interesting. No, he must not have worn a watch. Must not have been a watch. Maybe he used a pocket watch, who knows? I wouldn't ter- be terribly surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. He did wear a three-piece suit every day of his life, so... Yeah. I mean, dude, how... You can't be a billionaire and not wear a three-piece suit every single day. Seriously. Seriously. If you were a billionaire... If I were a billionaire, I'd wear... I'd sleep in a three-piece suit. Yeah, me too. I would, like, wear whatever the hell I wanted at all times. <laughs> I would, like, wear, like, Lady Gaga-level <clears throat> outfits. 
What's that? I'd wear like Lady Gaga level outfits. Oh, that would be fantastic. Like a, I'd wear like a giant taco shell. <laughs> or like, you know, that condom skin suit she wore or whatever. Yeah. Oh my God. That would She's be so, so crazy. I love Lady Gaga. 